Worldwide, 10% of all births are preterm, or before 36 week gestational age. Of those, about 10% or 2.2 million babies are born very preterm, before 32 weeks. Very preterm birth puts infants at a higher risk for long-term motor dysfunctions, such as cerebral palsy, which can place significant burdens on the child, the family, and the community. In this paper, we propose a method to predict motor dysfunction using magnetic resonance imaging at birth. Motor function outcomes can be assessed at 18 months after birth using the Bailey scales of infant and toddler development. However, accurate prediction of this score at birth could enable more rapid identification of infants who would benefit from rehabilitative interventions. Shortly after birth, each infant in our cohort underwent a full brain diffusion tensor MRI. We use this modality as previous works have shown connectivity features extracted from diffusion MRIs to be correlated with motor function. For each full brain DTI, neuronal pathways were delineated via tractography. Using a neonatal atlas of 90 anatomical regions, a connectome was constructed representing the connectivity between each region pair. For each connectome, network features of integration, segregation, and small worldness were extracted. We combined these features with metadata and information extracted from the T1 MR images, including the presence of white matter lesions. For each scan, all features were collected in a single feature vector. After reducing the dimensionality of this feature vector via principal component analysis, a support vector machine was used to discriminate between normal and abnormal motor scores. One major hurdle for any supervised classification task is that of imbalanced training data. In our data set of scans of very preterm infants acquired at the BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, this class imbalance problem is severe. While we only have 22 scans of subjects with abnormal motor function, we have 146 scans with normal motor function. In order to deal with this extreme class imbalance, we introduce a novel method of augmenting our training data set with realistic synthetic instances. Our proposed Local Synthetic Instance Approach, or LSI, is designed to tackle the specific case of high dimensional data and small sample size present in our training set of abnormal instances. LSI works by interpolating between instances of the same class using an interpolant that forces the new instances to remain close to at least one known instance. In this example, the weight on each instance is represented by its size. These weights are sampled, without replacement, from the elements of a normalized p-series. Under certain conditions, this causes the weight on one instance to dominate, resulting in a new instance which remains conservatively close to one instance while being pushed towards other known instances. We tested prediction of motor abnormality with different feature sets using a thousand rounds of cross-validation for each test. Compared to using only metadata and information from standard MRI, including connectome features from diffusion MRI, improves accuracy about 5%. Augmenting the set of abnormal instances using LSI improves accuracy an additional 3%. We compared LSI to three other methods of dataset augmentation, a state-of-the-art subsampling method, and a state-of-the-art classifier designed to deal with class imbalance directly. LSI outperformed all other methods for our prediction task. In this work, we presented the first image analysis approach to predicting Bailey motor score abnormality, and we set a baseline prediction of over 70% for this important task. Furthermore, we introduced a novel method to generate realistic synthetic training data and mitigate the effects of small positive sample sizes common to normal abnormal datasets. To find out more, come visit our poster.